Hello guys and welcome back to my channel technical interview and today we're gonna discuss one more problem for technical interview and today's problem is finding the kth smallest or largest element in an array. So this is basically a simple problem for any technical interview but things will get complicated when the interviewer will ask to optimize the solution for this problem because this problem can be solved in many ways and you can use many type of data structure to optimize this problem. And one more thing you have to keep in mind that the array given over here can be a sorted one, can be an unsorted one and also can contains duplicate elements over here. So I've seen that there are many solutions that are available for this problem and in most of the solution they doesn't consider one of the boundary condition that what will happen if there is a duplicate element over here because the answer to your solution will definitely differ if there is any duplicate number over here. So over here in this video we will discuss all the boundary condition that you need to know for solving this problem as well as we will go into the deep depth analysis of the complexity of the program and we will see that how we can optimize the solution so that we can easily solve this problem during any technical interview. Hi, my name is Anindo, working as a technical recruiter at Oracle and I am here to help you guys so that you can easily land your job in your dream company. So let's start with the video. But before proceeding to the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from my side and you're always ready for your next interview. So let's start with the video. So before jumping into the solution of this program, let's first understand the problem. So the problem statement says that given an array of numbers in a sorted or an unsorted order, we have to find out the kth smallest or kth largest element in an array. Which means that given the value of k equal to 3, we need to find out an element from this array which is the third largest value on this array. So over here if you see the largest number on this array is 9 and after that it is 8 and next largest number is 7 which is our third largest number over here and given the value of k equal to 3 we need to find out kth largest number that is 7 from here. Similarly for the question of finding the kth smallest number you can see that if the value of k is 3 then the third smallest number over here will be 4 because the smallest number over here in this array is 1 after that it will be 3 and then comes the 4. So this is the answer expected out of this problem. So over here if you see that the problem statement is quite simple and easy to understand. So let's start solving the problem and while solving the problem let's handle each and every boundary condition that can come over here. So the simple and the most easy approach of solving the kth largest or kth smallest element in an array is based on the question we're gonna sort this array in the ascending or descending order as required. So let's take an example right now we will be solving the kth largest element in the array. So to find the solution of kth largest element over here you can easily understand that if we sort this array in the descending order that is from higher to the lower element and if we can find out the kth element from the sorted array we can easily get our desired answer. So let's see how it will look after sorting this array. So after sorting this array, the array will look something like this. And if the value of k is 3, we can easily pick up the third largest number that will be 7, which will be our desired answer. So this will be a simple solution to this problem. But over here, before presenting this solution, we have to keep in mind few of the boundary conditions. The first boundary condition is number 1, what if there is any duplicate number in this array? So for example, we have the 9 twice in our array. So after sorting this array over here, we can see there will be two 9's appearing in our sorted array. And at that time, if we are trying to find out the kth element from this sorted array, then the value of k will be 8. Because the element that is present on the position k, that is 3, is 8 over here. Because you can see it's 1, 2 and 3. So with this simple approach of sorting the array and finding the element from the kth index will be a wrong solution if the array contains duplicate element over here. So even if you are solving this problem with this approach, you have to consider this boundary condition over here. Or you have to write some separate logic so that it can handle the array with duplicate number. Now the next important thing that will come over here will be the complexity of this program. 
So if you see with this approach, if we try to find out the complexity of the program, you can see that given an array in an unsorted order, we have to first sort this element. And to sort all of the element in an array, the total complexity will be n log n. That is the best possible time complexity we can achieve for sorting an array of elements. So once you get the sorted array, you have to iterate till the kth position over here to find out the given output. So the total complexity will be n log n plus k, which is nothing but order of n log n, where n is the total number of elements present in the array. So over here, you can see that the complexity of the program is n log n. Now the question is how we can optimize the solution further so that we can decrease the complexity even from n log n. And to solve this problem with minimum complexity, we will be using an additional data structure that is a heap. So as you know, there are two types of heap. One is max heap and another is min heap. And with the help of a max heap or a min heap, we can easily solve this problem in k log n time which is quite less than that of order of n log n because the value of k is less than that of the value of n. Because over here you can definitely see that if we have billions of numbers over here, then the value of n will be billion. And if we need to find out the third largest number over there, then the value of k will be 3. So definitely the value of k is much less than that of billion. And that is the reason we will be solving this problem in the most optimized way and thus we will reach the complexity of k log n. So how we will reach to k log n, I will be explaining that to the end of this video. Now let's see how we can easily solve this problem using the max heap and mean heap and how we can solve the problem in the most optimized way. So if you are not familiar with the concept of heap and heapify, I will definitely recommend you to go through the videos of heap sorting and heapify so that it will be easy for you to understand the rest of the video. So as we are solving the kth largest element over here, we will consider a max heap. So the property of a max heap is whenever we are popping an element from a max heap, by default it will give the maximum element present within the heap and we have to take this property as an advantage to solve our given problem in the most optimized way. So let's see how we will solve this program. So given an unsorted array of numbers, we have to iterate over the array and we have to push each and element of the array into our maxi. And then we have to pop for k number of times so that we can get the kth largest element over here. So let's demonstrate how it will work. So over here we can see that we have an array of number like 7, 4, 6 and so on. So what we will do, we will start our iteration from the first index of our array and we will push the element in the maxi. So the first element over here is 7, then comes 4, 6 and so on. So once the element are within our maxi, the internal implementation of a heap will heapify all the elements over here so that we can get the output in the descending order. Which means that from the max heap, if we try to pop out the first element from here, the first element that will come up will be 9. Because that is the maximum element present within this dataset. Then the next element that will come up on the pop operation will be 8. And in this way, if we keep doing our pop operation from the max heap, for k number of times, we will easily get the kth largest element from the array. So I hope you guys have understood the logic by which we will be solving the program. And the easiest way by which we can implement a heap in Java is by using a data structure called as priority queue. So over here we will see that how by using a heap which is nothing but a priority queue how we will optimize our solution. So let's implement the functionality so that it will be easy for us to understand the solution. So let's name the function as kth largest element. And over here we will be passing our unsorted or assorted array. So the first thing that we have to do over here is we have to create our heap which is nothing but our priority queue. So if you are not familiar with the implementation of a priority queue in Java, let me tell you that when we are declaring a priority queue in Java, 
by default it will be representing a mean heap which means that if we do a pop operation from this priority queue the minimum element will come first but over here since we are finding the largest element we have to reverse this operation and thus we have to customize this priority queue so that we can make it a massive data structure and the simple way by which we can convert a mean heap to a massive is by using a comparator over here so what we'll do we will just write a simple comparator to change a mean heap to a massive so over here you can see by default the priority queue will be in mean heap but since we want it to work as a massive we are actually reversing the sorting order of the priority queue and thus we are telling the comparator that we want to reverse the sorting order and thus it becomes our max heap over here now since we have achieved our simple logic of implementing a max heap now we have to start solving our problem so as we have discussed the first thing that we have to do is we have to iterate over this given array and we have to push all the element within this max heap now over here you can see we are iterating over the array and pushing the element in our max heap but we have to put one check over here that whether there exists a duplicate element or not so if the array contains any duplicate element we should not put that duplicate element within our max heap and thus we will put a check over here before insertion into the max heap that if the element is already present in the max heap we won't put the value in our heap now since we have created our max heap over here let's now pop up for k number of times to get our solution since the value of k may be 3 or 5 so we are popping out the element for that number of times to find out the k maximum number from here and over here we will be returning the max element from the function So I hope the solution is quite simple and easy to understand and the way we have implemented the heap using the priority queue is also an efficient way of solving the problem so I hope you have thoroughly understand the problem I will be giving the entire code in the description below feel free to go through that code and try to understand the solution deeply so that it will be easy for you to solve this question during your interview now let's discuss about the complexity of the program So over here if we discuss about the complexity of the program you can see that for the first time we are iterating over the entire array to insert all the elements in our max heap and thus the complexity of the program over here is order of n now internally what heapsort does is for each and every operation it will keep on applying the heapify method which is the internal implementation of our heapsort and the time complexity for doing the heapify operation is log of n and over here you can see that we are popping the element for k number of times and for each and every operation over here the heap have to heapify itself for k number of times thus the complexity of the program over here will be k log n where n is the total number of element present in our heap and k is the number of time we are popping the element to find out the kth largest number so the total complexity of this program will be order of k log n plus n where n is for creating the heap and k log n is for popping the heap for k number of time so i hope you guys have thoroughly understand the video and i hope you have liked the solution also and if you have liked the solution and if you have found this video useful don't forget to like and share this video and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from my side and you are always ready for your next interview so let's move to the next problem of our searching algorithm see you on the next video thank you